Justin, can you take us through the process, how you landed here uh, in free agency? Um, it was kind of a simple process. Um, I had a couple, couple options, but me and my agent and my family felt like this is the best place and the best spot for me and the best opportunity. So we're just blessed for it. Why was it the best opportunity? Um, I mean, I don't know, just the feel and then just the opportunity. I mean, just kind of feeling thing. It just feels like the best place. I would imagine when you don't play for three years, it's, it's, a lot of people might not be able to get back in. What was that period like and how did you prove that you could still play in this league? I mean, it was humbling for sure, but you just learn a lot, figure out a lot about yourself, about your life, about who you are, and then once you kind of mold that into shape, you could just kind of piece other parts of your life together. And I just kind of got back into it and was blessed, man. Just opportunities just keep coming for me, and I just keep taking them and grabbing them and running with it. I mean, just who you are, you learn about what you want to do, like just who you are as a person, what you like, like what, what, who do you want to be, what, what do you want to leave behind, like that. Why did you want to keep playing? Why did you want to keep playing? Um, I think it wasn't necessarily so much like, oh, my God, I just love the game of football. But it was just like, like I said, it was humbling. And then it can get taken away. And then once it gets taken away, you kind of realize, like, okay, well, I got a different outlook on it now because it can get taken away. So I'm going to just act like it can get taken away from here on out. Was the physical part more difficult when you're trying to rehab or, or the mental part trying to get over the hurt? I mean, the physical part is just the work you put in is the physical part, so that's just going to be that. But it's just, for me, I think life is just all mental anyway. So I think it's all mental. Not all, but majority mental. What are the Eagles getting you? What kind of player? Uh, I mean, you, if you watch the tape, you see what type of player you're getting. But just for me, if I had to say, you're just getting somebody who just wants to compete, wants to be here, wants to have fun, just got to, I don't know, just getting a guy that just wants to be here. You uh, share uh, an agent with uh, CD, yeah. uh, CJ. Yeah, do you guys know each other well? And Yeah, I mean, I knew him a little bit. And then, obviously, we got the same agent. And then when I was at New Orleans for a little couple of months, he was there. Yeah. yeah. What was the process like seeing him leave here and then you stepping almost into those shoes? I mean, I don't He has his own journey. He came, I mean, he left New Orleans and came here, I guess. I left New Orleans and came here, but that's a, the only thing that's the same. We got two different lives, two different journeys, so we just, that has nothing to do with me, really. What kind of role are you expecting here? Whatever role I place myself in, really, that's how I'm looking at it. I think it's just can be whatever I make it. Whatever me and the Lord make it, it's just how we're going to rock. I don't really got like, oh, I'm going to be a starter or I'm going to be this. It's just I'm going to compete and wherever that take me. As a player, how would you say you compared post-injury to pre-injury? What do you mean? Like, were you a different player? Were you a Different as in mentally, like, as far as, like, other things, but just as far as, like, what I can do on the field is the same, if not better, I think, because I'm smarter. Uh, you played safety in the slot last year. Was that something always in your skill set? Is that something that's developed? No, nah, that was brand new for me. It was just a new challenge and a new opportunity, but I just took it and tried to, you know what I mean? Just, I just went with it. So, But that was new for me. I had never done that, but I like it. Are there any familiar faces here? Do you know anybody? Um, no. Just Coach Moorhead. <laughs> From Texas a and Yeah. We was there at the same time. What was the process of transferring, you know, starting where you started? Uh, transferring transfer where? To, uh, Texas A&M. What do you mean? Well, you know, how did that happen? Uh, you know, how did you end up, at, end, up, end up at Texas A&M? Oh, man, I went JUCO out of high school and then got a um, scholarship to A&M and then ended up going there for two years before getting drafted to Tampa. What's our relationship like with Aaron? Like, how that go? Like, you guys talk a lot while you guys were down there at A&M or – I mean, it was just, just like normal coaches and players, just cool, interactive here and there. Nothing crazy. We weren't like the best of friends, but he would just give me advice on some, some things whenever I needed it. 
Is there anything else we should know about you that we haven't asked you? It's a lot about me, but I don't know. We could be up here all day. <laughs>